And just drop your head, just make sure your toes are looking forward. We're not turned in or turned out, that they are in the correct position. Soften the knees. Just gently push the tailbone to the floor, but you do need this little arch. You don't want to push it out or force it under. It's like finding that neutral position. Put your chin on the legs, just lift the rib cage up, hands by your side. Take a breath in through your nose. Deep breath out through your mouth, draw back your core and lift through your pelvic floor. And then gently exhale. And then just be conscious of your rib cage expanding and contracting with that breath in. So you breathe in, feel it open out. Take C mine and then breathe out and it contracts. Okay, you're going to give me a shoulder circle so nice and slowly. Come forward, lift, squeeze. Now, one arm back of the hand, lift it. Bring it back like you're pushing something into the ground. Now, circle the shoulders again. Breathe in, lift, exhale, change hands, lift. And bring it back. Let's do it again. Circle the shoulders forward, lift, open the chest, lift the arm, and back. And we circle. Think of opening the chest here. It's like you're pushing something to the ceiling with the back of that hand, and back. Don't think it's got to get by by your ear. Here we go again. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Change. Forward. Lift. Squeeze. And down. Breathe in. And back. And just let the movement flow so there's no stop between start of one position, the finish of the last one. So they link rather than blend. And then just one more on each side. It's your last set. And bring it back. Hands to the side, take a sit down, slide the hands to the knee. Slowly back, push the shoulders back. And again, nice and slow, go down four, three, two, one, and back. Four, three, two, one. Think about this for here. Push into your heels. Now start with the arms in front of you, thumb to the ceiling. Now sit down, push down, 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 slowly back. At the same time as bending the knees, just open the arms, so expand the chest and back. And here, you have to watch for this here. Just open the arms, make you lift your tailbone. Nice and steady, all the way back. Push down into those heels. Back we come. It's nice and slow. It's very controlled. Four more. Imagine you're pushing in water. And when your arms are open, I want to see your fingers in your peripheral vision. Slide your shoulders down your back, pull your belly button in firm and tight as you breathe out. Keep the gap between your ribs and hips neutral. 
Are you side bent? Just two more sets. Lift. Now you side bend. Back it comes. Just one more. Give the upper body still here. And back. Now you side bend. Back it comes. Now keep the foot position. Bring your hands in front. Just hold your wrists, yeah, or hold your hands so you, your elbows are sitting on a little ledge, yeah. Leg behind you is going to work. So you're going to bend. You're going to bring that knee through and twist towards it. Put it back. Bend. Lengthen. Lift. Twist. Put it back. And bend. Now relax the shoulders. Lengthen. Bring it through. Twist towards the leg. Put the foot behind you. And bend. Straight the legs. Bring the knee through and twist. Put the foot behind you. And back. That's it, Vicky. Lengthen. Twist. Forward the body. And down. And again. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. In. Out. In. Out. Four more. Now as you straighten your legs, push into the foot behind you. Now push into that foot. Push down. Twist. Take the foot back. And bend. Three to go. Lengthen. It challenges your balance. It's great for your core. Because as you take your foot off the floor, your core muscles around here have to work so much harder. Now just lengthen the legs and relax the arms. I still keep this foot position. All we're going to do is just bend. We're just going to go down, down, and back. The chest lifted, keep the chest open. Keep those knees moving forward and drive into the floor now. Drive down so you feel these muscles tighten. But we don't lock the knee as we lengthen it, the knee stays quite soft. Just four more. Last two. Okay, just give your legs a shake and change sides. So you lift the knee, push the hips forward. Okay, so the hands are here to start and just open that chest. Nice simple twist towards the thighs. So we're going round. So you're twisting towards the leg in front of you. Be conscious of keeping the nose in line with the centre of the body as you twist. If it makes you feel busy, keep your head nice and still. And as you do that twist, give that little bit extra movement so you feel it here. Feel that little stretch in the obliques. Maybe feel it across your hip a little bit. That's because it's where that muscle sits. Where it attaches. And you twist and turn every day. 
It's really important we have the range of movement as well as the strength to use our body like that. Just two more. And rest, relax the arms by your side. Okay, so whichever legs in front, that's the arm you're working. Think. Yeah, lift, lift. Take it back. Did we do that side? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Change arms. <laughs> I thought, I'm sure it was an open position, but my brain went, no, it's closed. And back. Now your side bend. It's nice and slow this, all the way across into your side bend. In an open position, it's more challenging, you need more stability. In fact, you've got everything written down here on big sheets of paper stuck to my tripod. Now your side bend your knees, pop it over. That's your stretch. Now you lift. You've got to work hard to keep this ribs still. There you go. All the way over. All the way back. Again, just to lift in the middle, keep the neck long. Back it goes. Now your side bend. Again, in the middle, nice and solid in the centre. Keep this strong. Work across your shoulder and your upper back. Then you get work across the side of the body. Just two more. And you lifted a big heavy weight. It's your last one. We go. Back. Okay, so you're going to hold your wrists again. Pull the shoulders back. Just put a bend. Bring the knee through. Twist to it. Oops. Put it back. Yeah. Bend. Bend them. Twist and back. And again, bend. Now sit those elbows on a little ledge, keep your hips nice and still. Back. What helps me? Because I'm not really good on my left foot. So if I feel I'm losing my balance, I just grab my wrists, grip my arms with my hands. The neck long. Much better. Yeah. Push into the foot now. Push in. That stabilizes you. Keep your core strong. Turn. That's going to be socks up. It's going to cold in the conservatory. It's a wooden floor. Two more. It's your last one.
and lengthen the arms. We just go down and up. Here we go down, down, and back. Just squeeze the muscles in your thigh now. Squeeze them. So you feel them tighter, not just in the middle, over your hips and your knees. You may feel it in your calf a little bit. Really normal. Keep it going. Just two more. This one. And uh, just take a step back, just give your legs a shake. Okay, I'm just going to come this way. Bring your feet up distance apart. Hide your back down the wall. Relax your chin to your chest. Then curl only so your hands come to your knee. Then uncurl. Fingertips to the floor, push the shoulders down. As you lift the head, lift the arms, squeeze the glutes. Give me that back extension, all the way up. The arms lower below the shoulder line, soften the knees, relax the chin, and curl. Back. And then squeeze your glutes really firm and tight. Support the head as you go back. Soft knees as the arms lower below the shoulder line. And make sure you do some rolling action. Rolling going so your hands come round about the knee line. This goes really firm and tight. Push the shoulders down. Feel your shoulders slide down your back as you do your back extension. Shove the tailbone down as you roll. But be really conscious of it being a rolling action, not a folding action. If you're tired across your neck and shoulders, that first part of the action, when you just relax the chin down, it'll be quite challenging to do. What is in the back extension? We normally do it lying down, we just change the plane on which you've done it. Just one more. All the way back. Lift. And back. Okay, guys, you want your chair. No, it doesn't matter which side it goes on from my Well, you, you got it. What you want to make sure is because you're going to push your body weight on it, so you want to make sure you won't do that. Yeah, so put it somewhere so it's fixed. I'm just going to put mine in front of this table here. Yeah? Want to stand so your hands, if they can, come to the side of your chair so your thumb is looking to the ceiling. If you can't, it can go on top, that's fine. But make sure when you push that chair, it doesn't move, okay? Neither do your feet, okay? And then stand quite a distance away from it. So your heels are slightly behind your shoulder. Feet about hip distance apart, lift the chin, and we just bend, bend, back. So support the hip. You want to make sure you're strong here. Bend, then tuck the elbows in. So the elbows come into the rib cage. Your heels might lift a little bit, that's fine. You're looking out in front. Okay, there's elbows coming into your body. Now I know you don't like doing this on the floor. You probably don't like it here either. Four more like this. Keep that belly strong. Hips to the rib cage. Two more. Drop the shoulders. Last one. 
and stay there. So you're staying in that bent position. Just the bottom range. So lift, bend, lift, bend. So you're not straining the arm, you're halfway back. And you start to feel your tricep now. Two more. And push all the way back. Oh, just give your arms a shake. You didn't expect that. You thought you were going to sit on it, didn't you? No. <laughs> okay, now that most of them stand like I'm standing here, so upright with my hand on the chair. Just take a little step away so you've got a slight lean into the chair. Yeah? Not a big one, just a slight lean towards the chair. Just for now, you free hand put it on your hip. And the leg furthest from the chair, take it out to the side so there's no weight on it, yeah? What you're going to do is lift that leg. As you lift it, flex the foot, point the toe. Flex, and point. Just gently push away with the side of the leg. And again. By now you'll know if you're the right distance away. You don't want to be up here, so just push into your lower back. Flex the foot, over the toe. So when that leg comes back, there's no weight on that foot that's lifting. Keep it going. Four more. You can feel the work here. Because you've got the chair to hold on to, it's less pressure on that supporting leg. There's two to go. You can feel it here. Last one, now hold that there. Little tiny push up. Just lift and back. Lift. Now you start to feel it right within your glutes here. Just four more. Keep those hips flexed. Three, two, one. Place the foot down. Just bend the knees. Just arch the back. I'll come to upright. Let's do one more set. Okay. So hand on the chair, little lean away. This time, free hand here again. Take the foot out. Little change this time. Lift it. Flex the foot. Heel to your bottom. Take the leg out. And down. A bit of a stick. Okay. Lift the leg. Heel to bottom, keep that leg nice and still. Take it out and down. Just two more at that pace. Lift, flex the foot, heel to your bottom. Take it out and down. Little lift, flex the foot, heel to your bottom. Lengthen. Now it's a little bit quicker. Are you ready? Lift. Heel, lengthen, down. Lift, heel, lengthen, down. Now if you need to rest because the supporting legs get a bit tired, that's fine. Oops. Lift. Four more. You can do this while you're cooking tea. <laughs> Last two. Last one. Oh. Lay some down, bend the knees, give your legs a shake. Hands on your thighs again, just arch that back. Uncurl to upright. Take your chairs to the other side. Put that little lean. Make sure that chair doesn't slide. Leg furthest away, take it out. Get ready. Lift. Flex. Point. And down. You take about two or three to sort of work out your distance and your timing. <laughs> two more. Lift. Flex, point, and down. Try not to let that foot 
Okay, so it's a little bit quicker. We go flex and lower. And again, lift and flex and lower. Keep the weight off that foot. Now you're standing on a tired leg. So you'll turn quicker than you did last time. Keep it going. It's like you're pushing something away and down. You're halfway. Now squeeze the muscles tight on your supporting leg. That will help with the stability. Pull in through the center, keep those hips stacked. You need to check you're not rolling forward. Just two more. One. Place the foot down, just bend the knees, arch the back. Up, go to upright. Now the one with the glute squeeze. Okay. So fix your base. We do four slow. Lift it. Heel to bottom, try not to lean. Lengthen out and down. And again, lift it, flex the foot, heel to bottom, keep the knee in behind the hip. Two more like this, whoops, lift, flex the foot, heel to your bottom, take it out, and down. You can hold your leg if you need to. This is the last one at this pace. Heel to your bottom, take it out, Okay, so a little bit quicker, and lift, flex, point, and down. Lift, heel in, only six to go. There you go, you're halfway, you've done four, so you know you can do four. So now you've just got those two to do you did in the beginning. Last two. Last one. And down. Just bend the knees. Give those thighs a rub. Ooh. Now you are going to sit on it. So you want to make sure, I'll just turn mine this way a moment. I hate these chairs. Never like them, we've all them, okay? You don't want to be sitting here. You want to be sitting with this big gap here, yeah? And you want your feet, need to be hip distance apart and push into those feet. Now we've done this lying down before, but I think it's quite challenging on a chair. Bring your arms in front of you and pull the shoulders back. You've just got that little curl back. Lift the chin, push into your feet, curl back nice and slowly. Now back you come, lift through the top of the head. Open this gap here and again. Back. Just four beats take you back, four beats lift you. And again. You'll know if you're too far back on the chair, because when you come back, you'll hit the back rest. You're going to pull the shoulders back. You're going to really work hard on that core to keep those feet down and back. Then you're going to open one arm, take it towards the back leg of the chair. Back it comes like you're scooping something up. And change. Back you go. Curl back. Big scoop. Relax the shoulders. And again, curl back. Turn. Here we go again. Now we're going to add a leg lift. Oh, I'm going to do that. So I turn and the leg on the open side. Just going to lengthen and back. 
So you've only got one foot supporting you now. So just roll the heel, lengthen the leg and lift it as best you can. And back. And lift. The leg sort of unfolds. If you were in ballet, to be a deadlope. And now really think hard about your finishing posture as you come out of this. Got to lengthen up. Back to that sitting position. Back. Recover. And again. Make sure you're rolling, not leaning. And again, down we go. Roll back. Recover. One more. Back we come. Place your hands on your side, take a little back refresh. And then just uncurl upright, sit nice and tall. Okay, okay, bring your arms to a W, yeah? And just check that they haven't actually come in front of you. Pull them quite a distance so you feel it here. Lift the chin, you've got VW arms. Just lift, lift, down. Now give me a chest press. In, push out, VW arms, and lift, lower, chest press. Now, when you do a VW, the feet are flat on the floor. When you do a chest press, just lift the heels and back. VW, push into your feet as if you're trying to stand up. Now lift the heels. Lift the heels. And open. And again, VW, push. Keep the neck long. Elbows in line with the shoulders. Bring in. And out. Breathe in, breathe out. This is an in, this is an out. Now when you lift those heels, try not to push into your toes. So you use your core strength to support you. of you. Pull the shoulders back. Now we've normally done this sitting on the floor, sit, lying on the floor sitting. Okay. Just slide one foot out in front and then bring it back. The other one. Flex your foot, push through your heel and back. Now if you can't straighten your leg, you're too far back in your chair. So just push out. Heel, push. Like a, you're pushing on the accelerator. And change. Now the arms, wherever legs forward, that arm goes with it, the other one goes to the ceiling. And back. And change. Now what you have to watch here is that you're not rolling back. We're gonna lift up here. Then take the weight off that foot as it's going forward. It can touch the floor, but avoid the floor supporting it. And then think about your shoulder blades. Let them slide down your back as you open your arms. Push out. 
foot into the supporting foot. Just one more on each side. And rest. Hands on your side. Take that back. Refresh. Uncurl to upright. Okay, just move your chair out of the way. And then all we're going to do is just lie down on the mat on our front. Your legs a little bit wider apart than your hip. Let me see if you've got that way. Fingertips under your forehead. Push your hips into the mat. We're going to do a frog. Lengthen the lift the legs. Flex the foot, heels to your bottom. Straighten them out and down. And again, lengthen the lift, flex the feet, heels to your bottom. Take them back out and down. Make sure your hip bones are pushing into the mat. Keep those legs longer than you usually lift them. Make a big thing of flexing your feet. Make sure the heels touch. Lengthen and lower. Six, four. And then let the movement flow. There's no stop. Flex those feet, get those knees pushed away from each other. Four to go. Only another three. And your last two. Here's your last one, but you're going to keep your heels together. Keep those heels together. Push the heels to the ceiling. You're going to lift, lower. Lift, lower. Four more. Here we go, just another two. Last one. And let's lengthen the legs out. Push yourself back into a hero's pose. <laughs> and then from there, roll over onto your back. It's round to get some money. Oh. Oh. I'm having a at a barbecue. <laughs> okay, now stretch out your left leg. Okay. Take your right arm out to the side, your left hand, your thumb on your cheekbone, hand to the back of your head. Now your left leg flexing, drive your heel from your hip to fix that hip. You're going to take opposite elbow towards the thigh. Ready? And twist, twist, and back. So leave with the shoulder. Make sure your toes and knees on both legs are looking to the ceiling. And that arm out to the side, just push into it. It helps you to get that twist. Make sure you're going diagonally across the body rather than across to the side. So you move into the outside of that right knee. Keep pushing into that right foot as well so your hips stay fixed. Two more. 
Now stay there. A little tiny movement. So just push and rest. Push and rest. Support the head and the hand. Four more. So move it diagonally across the leg. Three. Two. One. And rest. So let's change sides. Bend the left knee. Foot flat. Stretch out that right foot. Whatever side you got that bent knee on, that arm goes out. Other hand. Thumb and cheekbone. Hand to the back of the head. Elbow out to the side. Ready. And just twist. And back. And again. And again, same rules apply. Diagonally across, so you're going across to the outside of the leg. Knees and toes on both legs to the ceiling. Keep that straight leg driving from the hip. And then relax the neck so the weight of the head is supported in the hand, you're not stressing the neck. A nice big gap between the chin and chest. You need that airflow. Just four more. And we have that little end range movement. Here's your last one, and we stay up there. A little tiny end range movement, ready? So just push, relax. So you're still off the mat, you're moving diagonally across. Just four more. Feel that overload and rest. Bring your head down, just bring your knees up and give them a hug. Just one more to do, feet flat on the floor, arms to the ceiling, we're gonna go into a shoulder bridge. Make sure your feet and knees are hip distance apart. Four beats, take us up, ready. Lift, two, three, four, roll back with back, 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 back. And again, now as you return, Remember, all you want to do is just tap the mat with your bottom rather than rest. And again, a little drive into the floor with those feet. There we go. Try and breathe in on the lift. Try not to squeeze your glutes. They will contract naturally, but you want the effort and energy to come from the front of the body. Here we go again. And back. And let it flow. So once you're at the top of the range of movement, you're ready to come back. Two more. Last one. And you're going to stay up there. Now, if you want to, you can hold the hips from behind, but you've got to keep those hips lifted. Just bring your arms down by your side if you're not going to support with your hands. All we do is peel a heel. Just peel it, put it back. Now, keep that hip lifted. Whichever heel you're lifting, that hip stays still. So you're not sagging. So you lift, lift, lower. Now, push into the other foot to give you stability. The further away from your bottom your feet are, the harder it is to stay high. Just four more, ladies. Here we 
go, last one. Little peel. Peel back, roll all the way back. Bring those knees up. Little hug. Now keeping hold of the legs, just circle them round in one direction. Nice and slowly. So you roll in on your pelvis. Now as the legs move away from your chest, make sure the small of your back is an overarching. You've got a neutral spine there. You shouldn't be able to get your hand underneath it, just a piece of string. And then change direction. And make this your last one. Place one foot to the floor, push the other heel to the ceiling. Now you'll feel your hamstring quite tight, and that's that last exercise we did. Because your hamstrings look really hard on the shoulder bridge. Then relax the foot, sit hold of the leg, walk your hands towards your foot. And then gently draw the leg in a little closer. Leave the leg where it is and take your arms to the side. Flex that foot and place that ankle over the other thigh. And then just roll the legs over to one side. So you're leading the way with the foot. Satisfaction. 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 Slowly roll all the way back. Just uncross the legs, take the other heel to the ceiling. Just stretch it first, feel that hamstring. Nice, no, quite tight. Relax the ankle, take hold of the leg. Walk your hands further down the legs so you can increase your hamstring stretch. Just release the leg, arms by your side, flex the foot, place an ankle over the other thigh, roll over to the side, lead with the foot. So you've got a knee looking to the ceiling. Slowly come back. Just uncross the legs. Just briefly come over onto your hands and knees. Just arch that back to the ceiling. And then lift your tailbone. <coughs> Excuse me, push the chest forward. <coughs> so you're into a charging cow pose. Bring your spine to neutral, tuck the toes under, roll yourself up into downward dog, and then straight away walk the feet to the hands, bend the knees, just hold on a moment. Uncurl to upright, up nice and slowly. Feet at distance apart. Take a big lift on one side, long stretch over. <laughs> Lower that arm in front of your face as you come upright and just hold the arm. And release. Change sides, lift up and over. Lovely long side stretch. Lengthen away from the hip. Lower the arm in front of the face, just lift the arm, hug the other one. 
and release. Take a big swim, open the chest, hands behind you, squeeze the shoulders back. You just hold that position a moment, but I just change my view. Sweep the arms in front, lift the fingers, relax the chin to the chest. Just lift the head, hands to prayer position, guys. Give yourself a bow, but give yourself a bow. Well done. Oh. You never look at your dining chair in the same light, will you? <laughs> <laughs> you do. Okay. So I'll see you either tomorrow or next week. Yeah, see you Monday. Yeah, Bye. take care. Have a lovely right. weekend, but I don't see you tomorrow. What time is it tomorrow, Dee? Quarter past nine. Thank you. See you tomorrow. See you. If you haven't got the code, just let me know later on today, and I'll just I'll, I'll whiz it over this afternoon. Oh, I don't think I have got the code. I'll yeah, I'll I'll give you a message. All right. Yeah, just so just just a reminder. Yeah. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.